If you're not sure which sprayer to get between the GX21 or the GXFF, then keep watching because in this video we will be comparing these two machines so we can find out exactly which one will be right for you. Hi there, my name is Darren and in this video we're doing a comparison between the GX21 and the GXFF. Now both these machines are entry level paint sprayers so it will be ideal for you if you're working on small projects, if you're new to paint spraying, perhaps you're a DIY, an ambitious DIYer. Well, uh, these sprayers are definitely something for you to be looking into. They'll have comparatively the same performance. There'll be one or two feature differences. And we're also going to take a look at what you get with the machine to help you make your decision. So maybe let's start with the GXFF. The most noticeable feature on this sprayer compared to the GX21 is the inclusion of a 5.7 litre hopper. Now with the hopper and with the short suction tube going into the pump itself, this means it can handle a smaller amount of material than the GX21 which has a slightly longer suction tube. If you're wanting more information on the GXFF there is a separate video just on the sprayer by itself and there's also an overview video of the GX21. Why is that important is because in the GXFF video I go into detail about why if you're a woodworker, if you want to spray lacquer, then this is the ideal machine for you. The hopper makes it very easy for you to pop in a small paint in of lacquer and be able to uh, spray without too much difficulty. Now looking at both these machines, they're comparatively same weight. The GXFF is uh, slightly heavier at 14.1 kgs, whereas the GX21 is uh, 13.2 kgs. You have a max spraying pressure, both of them at 207 bar. This max spray tip size for the GXFF is 19 thousandths of an inch, whereas the GX21 is 21 thousandths of an inch. Now when we looked at spraying some different types of materials, 19 thousandths of an inch is right on the border where some materials might be asking for a spray tip size of between uh, 21 and 25. So that's where you might run into some limitations with the GXFF. Looking at the performance of the two sprayers, the maximum delivery rate of the GX21 is 1.8 liters per minute and the GXFF is 1.5 liters per minute. Now, 300 uh, milliliters is, is not that much, but when both uh, comparatively, that is in fact a 20% performance increase of the GX21 over the GXFF, which is quite a big difference. Looking at uh, some of the features of both these sprayers, they both have the uh, press prime button, which is uh, there to loosen the inlet valve. Uh, you just give that a few pushes and the valve loosens if you find it got stuck. They both have a manometer, that's a pressure readout. And both these sprayers use the Pro Exchange pump, which is a pump that you can easily replace on your own without any additional tools. On both the sprayers, you'll notice on the frame, there'll be some holes, it's up here. And on the GX21, it's on the other side of the frame. And those holes will help you do the replacement of the switch or of the pump packings. When deciding between uh, these two sprayers, as I've mentioned before, if you are wanting to spray lacquer, you probably want to be going for the GXFF. It's simply designed for those types of materials with the woodworker in mind. If you're spraying trim, if you're spraying furniture, then you want to look at the GXFF. The GX on the 21, on the other hand, will be an entry-level sprayer for your emulsion paints. If you're wanting to spray a small apartment, perhaps just one large room, the GX21 has a suction tube and can handle most of those emulsion paints. So let's compare what you get uh, when you order one of these sprayers. Well, your GXFF comes with a 210 spray tip whereas the spray tip on the GX21 is a 515. They both have a Rackex spray tip holder and they both come with hoses. However, the hose on the GXFF is a slightly smaller and also shorter. So you have a 15 meter hose on the GX21 and a 7.5 meter hose on the GXFF. For filters, there is a 
main filter, 40 mesh on the GX21, and you have an easy out filter, 100 mesh for the GX21, whereas you have a regular filter, 50 mesh for the uh, GXFF. Spray guns that come with these machines, there's an FTX spray gun that's a two finger uh, trigger for the GXFF, and for the GX21 you have an SG3 that's a four finger spray gun. Both of those guns weigh about, they're as heavy as a basketball. A few other questions we have from customers regarding these machines. Uh, if you're wanting, uh, if you might be expecting a maintenance liquid or additional spare parts, unfortunately that doesn't come as standard with the delivery of these machines. Some of your larger Graco uh, models, those will come with spare parts, accessories, uh, TSL liquid, extra spray tips. But whereas uh, with these machines, they're entry level sprayers. However, you still are getting everything you need to start spraying right away. So you do get your tips and hoses and everything else. So you will be able to spray. If you're wondering about the GX19, well, depending on uh, which country you're residing in, uh, not all the models are available to you. If you're a US customer, you'll be more familiar with the GX19 that has the same performance specs as the GXFF and also comes with a uh, hopper. And some of uh, the other countries, for example, uh, if you're in Europe, you'll be getting the option of the GXFF with the hopper and the GX21. So ultimately, when deciding between these two sprayers, you're probably going to uh, first look at what material are you most frequently going to be spraying with. If you're spraying with lacquers, you're going to go with the GXFF. And if you are spraying your emulsion paints for small projects, then take the GX21. As soon as your project frequency increases, you're looking for more performance. If you're a professional uh, Ellis paint sprayer, you will need to choose models that are gonna give you a lot more performance. Models such as a 395, 495, they've all got better performance pumps and that will be better suited for you. If you're thinking about one of these pumps for spraying both emulsion paints and woodwork, well, do consider that uh, if you're working with materials that are oil-based and then you're working with materials that are water-based, well, you're going to probably want to use a hose and gun specifically for your oil-based materials and a hose and gun specifically for your water-based materials. That means you're probably adding about 200 to 300 euro on top of the price. And when these machines are very reasonably priced already and your entry-level sprayers uh, a lot of painters in the in the professional industry are usually having a spray just for uh, their lacquers, for their oil-based materials, and another sprayer that's handing paint and plaster, and that's usually a larger uh, paint spraying model. So you probably don't want to be getting one of these to handle all your materials, oil and water-based, because that's gonna you're gonna run into a bit of issues. You also have to make sure that you clean the device thoroughly before switching materials and that might just be too much of a hassle. So uh, do consider probably getting two sprayers, one for the oil-based and one for your water-based materials. And that's it for this video. I hope this has helped you uh, learn a little bit more about these two sprayers. My name is Darren. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, smash that like button turn on notifications uh, to get notified when you bring out another video. Thanks for watching and have a great spray.